Now, we have talked about this rule over here, and that's the first rule in indexes. Now, what's the second rule over here? Now, the second rule over here is, all right, when I have a number, or let's just say in this case, I have A, okay, and I power it to 1, okay, I will always get back the same number, all right? I will always get back the same number. A over here, it can be any integer, can be any positive number or negative number, okay? You can feel free to try this out with your own calculator, all right? You can just take any number you like, how big, how small, right? A negative number, and you just take it and power of one, okay? You should get back the same number, all right? That is, that is um, rule number two, which is, which is another very important rule in indexes. Now, let's look at the next rule, which is rule number three. Now, rule number three here is a bit interesting. Okay? okay rule number three here says that if I have A, all right, any number over here, and if I take that number, power of zero, all right, I take that number and power of zero, I should get, Okay, I should get 1. Now, I should get 1. All right? Hmm. Interesting, right? Like any number, any number, how big, how small, all right? Negative number, your power of 0, right? you'll get 1. Hmm, why? Have you ever wondered, like, why is it like that? Now, let me show you a simple proof to prove that this is true. Now, let's try to write down what do we know so far in mathematics first, okay? So, let me write down a few things over here. I will write down... Now, oh, uh, let me change this so it's more obvious. Now, let's take a look at this series of numbers here. Okay? Now, let's identify, let's identify what's happening over here. Now, let's just say, you know, I do not know 2 power of 0 is what, okay? But we have established an understanding of what is 2 power of 1, all right? Now, 2 power of 1 is just 2, right? Because I have only one of them. So I can write this as 2, right? Now, this is 2 square. 2 square has the same meaning of 2 times 2, right? Because I have 2 of them, okay? And this one, I have one of them. So if I have 2 to the power of 3, it should be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, right? Then that is how we understand the power system over here. But take a look at over here. 2 power of 0, hmm, how do we write this? Because 0 looks kind of funny, right? All right, but don't worry first. Let's see what is going on on this side first. Huh? Now, if you notice here, okay, we can expand this. Like 2 is going to be 2 only. All right, I'm just going to write down here. That's 2. 2 times 2 over here, that I will get my 4. 2 times 2 times 2, I will get my 8. Now, let's take a look at these three numbers over here and compare and compare them. Now, try to take a look what is actually happening over here. Right across, like from two going to eight, right hand side. Do you see there's a pattern over here where every time I jump, I will multiply by two. Every time I jump, I will multiply by two. Right? Can you see that? So, if this is true, which means if I were to go to the left, 
it should be divided by 2, right? So take a look. 8, if I were to go over here, I should be dividing by 2, right? 4, jump over here, I should be divided by 2, right? Can you see this pattern? Now, if this pattern is true, now if this pattern is true, when I take this number 2 and I divide it, I should get 1, right? Can you see? Okay? Now, hold on a minute. Seems like a coincidence, right? Now, let's see what happened over here to see if this proof really, is it really work? Does it really work or not? Now, again, let's take a look at this number over here. We have established an understanding of what is this, right? Now, we can also rewrite this. Okay, we can use the first rule. We can also rewrite this as, right? 1 over 2. Agree? Okay, so I'm going to write down my 1 over 2 here. And let's check back what is happening over here. Now, if this is true, okay, this must be true as well. So take a look over here. If I were to take 1 and divide by 2, true enough, I will get 1 over 2, right? So in this case, this must be true. Because it fits in in the pattern as well. It fits in. So take a look over here. When I jump back to the right-hand side, 1 over 2, if I multiply by 2, I will get 1. 1 times 2, I will get 2. Can you see that? All right? It fits into the pattern. So this has already proved that if I have a number and I power by 0, it will be 1. And this is true for any numbers. Okay? It can be 3, 4, and 5 it will be the same thing, okay? So that's the proof to show to you if you have any number, power of zero, you will get one, okay? Now, another thing that I would like uh, everyone to, 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 to see over here. Now, I did mention that a is an integer over here. So if you put negative 1, power of 0, all right, technically you should get 1. But I would like you to try in your calculator. All right? Just put like this in your calculator. Just put like this in your calculator. Okay? Just put um, negative 1. All right? Just put negative 1. And power, all right, use this power button and just put, I'm um, sorry should be zero, okay? Power of zero, and see what you get. If you have punched in the corrector correctly, you should get, you should get negative one over here. Looks weird, right? Because I have mentioned over here, if I have an any number, doesn't matter positive or negative, if I were to power of zero, I should get one, right? But what happened over here, okay? Now, I want you to do the same thing again. I want you to do the same thing again. Okay, but you add a bracket this time. So let's just say I put a bracket. Okay, and I put my negative 1 inside. And I'm going to power it with 0. Now check back your calculator. Now what do you get this time? If you have... Uh, punch in everything correctly in your calculator, you should get 1, right? So take a look over here. What, what is happening over here? Okay? Now, which one over here is correct? Okay? It will be this one. Right? Now, but actually, why does your calculator show you this? If you have negative 1 power of 0, you get negative 1. Why does your calculator show you this? Okay, I'm going to show it in this example over here. I'm going to give you another example so you can see this uh, much more clearly. So if I have, if I have this, all right, if I have negative 2, okay, square, if you put in your calculator, all right, very similar to see, 
you should get negative 4, right? But if you put a bracket, which I'm going to write here, a bracket, and you write negative 2 square, you should get 4. Okay? If you do this in your calculator, you should get these answers over here. Now, why is it like that? Now, let me explain. Your calculator understand this in a different way. Your calculator apply board mass to this question. Now, again, if I have a number, all right, like example, a number attached to an alphabet, that is, what operation does it mean? Okay, it means multiplication, right? Now, very similarly, this is negative two, right? I have a symbol at next to a number, okay? You can also rewrite this as a multiplication operation. Now, let me show you how I can break this up. Huh? So this negative here, it's basically negative one, right? I'm sticking to this two, so I am multiplying two square. This is how your calculator see this, okay? Now, of course, by following the rule of board mass, so I have my board mass over here. Okay, by following the rule of board mass, order come first, all right? Order come first, okay? I have my order operation here, which is the power, and multiplication here comes second, okay? So by doing this, we have to obey board mass. So by solving this, I should get negative 1 multiply with 2 square I will get 4 and then finally since I'm done with the order now I can multiply so negative 1 multiplied by negative 4 my final answer here it's negative 4 right this is how your calculator see it if you just punch in your calculator negative 2 square okay now, let's take a look and this will happen. If you put this in your calculator, your calculator understand it as, oh, this number, I have to multiply it by itself again. So in this case, it will be negative 2 multiplied with negative 2. All right, we have established an understanding here. If we have negative multiplied with negative, I will get a positive, and in this case, a positive 4. Okay? So as a summary here, Okay, to make sure that you do not make any mistakes for rule number three, when A is a negative power, please, please, please always put a bracket inside. Okay, this is a very common careless mistake that a lot of people will do. So when you are dealing with negative power, negative number, and you want to take it to a power, so make sure you put a bracket in your calculator to avoid any sort of careless mistake.